we will show a simple animation in this uh, video uh, using Drishti. Let me start Drishti. Uh, I'm running on Mac and uh, let's load uh, data set, say engine block. So this is the data set. I'm press pressing F2, function F2 in, in case of Mac to move to high res mode. This is your volume. Press B to remove the box. These are the toggles here. That's the bounding box here. Press B to turn off the bounding box. Now what I would like to do is just rotate the uh, engine block around this axis. Now this axis is uh, this axis is x axis. Press A to show the axis. So I'm pressing A to show the axis. What I would like to do is now rotate the engine block around x axis. Let's bring the keyframe editor in. This is the keyframe editor and. Uh, press space bar what I'll show you is a very simple way of doing the animation press space bar and you will get command help it gives you current parameters and all the other uh, parameter values here and these are the command helps that you give here or hotkeys so for example when we were pressing F2 so this is F2 and it just toggles between high res and low res mode and pressing spacebar will give us the, the command help. So this is spacebar and it will give us the command help. Okay, so let's get back to command help and what we would like to do is add rotation animation. So add rotation animation. What this will do is it will add a very simple animation rotation. Uh, either about x-axis or y-axis or z-axis it asks you how many what angle um, rotation angle you want and how many frames so what we would want here is rotate about x-axis we want to rotate about full 360 degrees rotation and do that in 360 frames so first value here is the angle so it goes from 0 to 360 degrees and then the frames so the total rotation will take 360 degrees now if you are rendering a movie or saving images um, for the for the movie then what you need to do is count how many frames uh, based on how many seconds of movie you want to generate if you want to generate a movie of say say four seconds at 25 frames per second then it would be 100 frames if it is 30 frames per second then it is 120 frames and so on so uh, drishti internally does not uh, uh, render the frames as uh, number of frames per second but it just goes on rendering each and every individual frame so you need to convert number of frames that you have uh, and number of frames per second in the final movie that you want so for example if you render say 1000 frames and the movie that you are going to render is at 25 frames per second then what you are going to end up is a 40 second animation okay in this case we are just doing 360 frames so it has created the animation frames in the keyframe editor which is this one here so if we move the keyframe I am using left mouse drag to move these frames here let me also just reduce that so frame number one is this and it starts rotating so play the keyframes and it starts rotating yeah if you want to do it faster we, you can just drag this select the the keyframe that you want to move and then just drag it and again I'm using left mouse button to do all the dragging now this will be much faster 
uh, this animation will run much faster because we are allocating less number of frames but the total rotation is, st is still the same previously it was doing one degree per frame whereas now it is doing a lot more than one degree per frame around three degrees per frame so it is going to be a lot faster now if you want to say do uh, say some smooth step in the interpolation of the angle now what is happening here is the angle is interpolated linearly from 0 degrees to 360 degrees so if you want to do smooth step you apply smooth step for brick information here now all this rotation is happening in bricks so I will also show you what this does so now it will start slowly and then speed up and then as we reach near the end point it will slow down again and then slows to stop let me bring in the brick editor at this time so this is a brick editor now all your rotations are really happening in this parameter here this is brick 0 and this is what is changing so you can see that here this is what is changing so when we do say 360 frames here yeah, this will go even slower so when we when we press spacebar and give rotation animation what this thing is really doing is creating this information here in the bricks editor and creating uh, the animation that you have requested in another video we will see how to actually go in and change these uh, parameters here for uh, for the animation that that we require say it could be about x axis or y axis or z axis or it could be about any rotation axis that we want and any rotation pivot that we want so this is one way of generating a very simple animation where the rotation is about one of the standard axis and the camera is fixed <laughs>